Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Waha, Waka Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, because those are the men. Who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad. Push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be uh, entitled as We Are Cursed as a People. The so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we are the children of the Lord. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. And the reason why we're at the bottom today and we are suffering is because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So the Lord put us to a temple of punishment. So we're going through the curses. We're under the curses right now. But pretty soon, these curses, they're going to be lifted from us and it's going to go on to the heathen. And Esau is going to have it. And he's going to have it for eternity. But right now, we're in an oppressed state. We're at the bottom today. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we are at the bottom today. But we're suffering um, the punishment of the doings of our forefathers, who we are actually are today. We are our forefathers reincarnated. We didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. We broke the old covenant. So pretty much is what we're going to go into. We're going to go into the curses, us being cursed as a people. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is um, actually Salakia. Um, let me get that back. This is because um, I thought about it through the Spirit. The Lord is telling me to get out, get out uh, that Amos, um, that Amos uh, three and two, or three and. Is three, three and one. So like you. I just want to get this out real quick. This is Amos three and one. It says, "Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel." See, it says against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "Verse two, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you." For all your iniquities. See? Because we broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. So the Lord, he put us through a temporal punishment. Due to being disobedient. Alright? And we winded up being at the bottom. So we're under the curses. This is why we go in through all these, these afflictions, these torments. You know, a lot of brothers, you know, out there, you probably knew in the truth. And you're just wondering, like, since you was little, like, growing up, like, why am I going through all these things? Why am I um, experiencing these things as an Israelite man? Because you are under the curses. We are the Israelites and we are under the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 45. It says, Moreover, all of these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. See, these were the curses that was put upon us because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the covenant of the Lord, the old covenant. Which that word covenant means treaty or oath. We did an oath with the Lord and we swore, to, swore unto him that we wouldn't break his law, statutes, and commandments. And we broke that treaty. So due to us breaking that, the Lord put us at a low estate. It says, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. We are destroyed as a people. Two-thirds of the mindset of our people, they're embedded in the way, ways of the heathen. They follow the heathen. They're embedded in the world. They're focused on worldly things. Those are the curses that are upon us. All right, we don't have a land of our own, right? We're afflicted on a high level, right? We are, 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 are slaves in this place called America today. It says, till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power. We, the Lord gave us simple instructions to do and we didn't do it. We started worshiping the idols of the heathens. We started following the way of the heathens. How do we know that? Read 2 Kings, the second, the 17th chapter, where it goes into the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom disobeying the commandments of the Lord. So the Lord gave us to the heathen. 
it says to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee see so the lord gave us a codified law to keep and we didn't keep it so due to being disobedient the lord gave us to the heathen so now we're under the curses we got to go to the heathen nations for everything that includes clothes food right education whatever you want however you want to think about your daily life that you do getting a driver's license you got to go to the heathen for all of that getting your own business you got to go to the heathen for all that to go to 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 get a career within itself, you gotta go to the heathen. You gotta uh, study under Esau's knowledge, under his rules and regulations, just just to get a decent job. You gotta get his paperwork. You to be, uh, getting paid, or to have a actual I'm talking about an actual career to be a doctor and all that. You gotta deal with Esau's teachings just to make it. So we're oppressed on a high level. We gotta go through Esau and these other nations for everything. Verse 46, it says that they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. See, so we're under the curses. These curses the Lord made upon us. But it's coming to a time where the Lord is going to uplift that from off of us. These curses are going to come off of us. And we're not no longer going to be under no heathen nations. Verse 47, it says, because thou servest not the Lord. We didn't serve the Lord. You see that? Thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of mind, right? For an abundance of all things. Verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. So this is a curse that's upon us. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger and thirst and nakedness. We gotta go to the heathen for all of that. To get a meal. We gotta go to the heathen for all that. For water. We gotta go to the heathen for that. For clothing. We gotta go to the heathen for that. In the ancient world we had our own stores. Our own stuff. Now we're cursed as a people. We gotta go to the heathen for those things. It says in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see that? A yoke of iron upon thy neck. And let me show you that picture. This is what has happened to us as a people. So we're enslaved. The so-called Negroes in Spain, Native American, yes, you are a slave to Esau in this society. Yes, we're able to, to get passports. Yea, we're able to, you know, do certain things to a limit. But you're still in captivity, though. You still got to to get a passport. You still got to go through Esau's documentation to get married. You still got to go to Esau's documentation. Everything we do, we got still got to go to the Esau. So we still got that neck around our necks. So we're we're slaves. We're in servitude to the 17 heathen nations, mainly Esau. Right. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that's what these 17 heathen nations have done. Mainly Esau. Verse 49, it says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. And that happened. It says, From one end of the earth, as a swift as an eagle flieth. Talking about Esau. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right? And we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And what happened to us? We became Gentiles. We became, we were Israelites of the flesh, but we had a Gentile state of mind. We became Gentiles. That's why now we're no longer in a Gentile state of mind. Now we're in the truth. We're Israelites again. But we were cast out as strangers at one time. And you still got Jake that's still cast out as strangers. Verse 50, it says, A nation, it says, A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Verse 51. And he shall eat of the fruit of thy cattle, of the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or increase of thy kin, or thy flocks of thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. These are the curses that happen for us. These are all the things that we've lost. We don't have any of these things. It was taken from us. All right. And let me get to the main point and get to the other precepts. Because this is pretty long. I ain't going to read all the way down. I just wanted to read that part. Verse 52, it says, And he shall besage thee in all thy gates until thy high and fenced walls come down wherein thou, tr thou trustedest throughout all thy land. And he shall besage thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy power have given thee. So you see that? So the Lord stripped us of that because we were rebellious as a people. We didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. Deuteronomy 11 and 26 it says, behold, I, I, it says, behold, I set before you this day blessings and a curse. So we got blessings and curses as Israelites. 
Verse 27, a blessing. If ye obey the commandments of the Lord your power, which I command you this day. See, so those are the blessings, keeping the laws and statutes and commandments, right? Verse 8, and a curse. If ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your power, but turn out of the side, which, uh, out of the, side of the way, which I commanded you this day, to go after other gods which ye have not known. And these are the curses that came upon us as a people because we didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. You see that? So those are the curses that came upon us, right? So we have blessings and curses as Israelites. Amos 3, verse 1, right? Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So there you go. We broke the old covenant. We sinned in the sight of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord, that's where that uh, shame come comes in. We were put to shame, right? This is... Uh, Daniel 9 and 7 It says O Lord Righteousness belongeth unto thee But unto us confusion of faces And when you go into the meaning of that word Confusion there And actually I can go right here and get it When you go into the meaning of that word uh, Confusion there Which I'm going to get right here Daniel 9 and 7 right You see that This is Daniel 9 and 7 right and when you go into the meaning of that word confusion, let me see if I can get it. Uh, so lucky, I think I went down too far down. See? Strong's H1322. Bosheth. Bosheth. That word confusion goes into the, uh, the Hebrew H1322, which is Bosheth, right? It says... Shame, shame, shameful thing. Shame, confusion, ashamed greatly, shameful thing. We were put to shame. You see that? So we were we were put to shame as a people. All right? We were put to shame. That's what that confusion of faith goes into. And I'll read it from right here too, actually. This is uh, Daniel uh, 9 and 7. It says, O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. That's talking about shame we were put to shame it says as it says as at this day to the men of judah and to the inhabitants of jerusalem and unto all israel that are near and that are far off it says through all the countries whether thou has driven them because of their trans for their trespass right that they have trespassed against thee we were put to shame because we trespass against the lord we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Verse 8, it says, O Lord, to us belong confusion of face, shame. We were shamefaced to our kings and to our princes and to our fathers because we have sinned against thee. See, so we sinned in the eyes of the Lord, and we were put to shame for that. The Lord put us to shame. He gave us to the spoil. Verse 11, it says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us and the oath that was written in the law of Moses, right? The servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. See, so we swore oath to the Lord and we broke the old covenant. So due to us sinning against the Lord, he put us to shame. We became cursed as a people. Verse 12, it says, and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. See, we were cursed as a people because we did not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the old covenant. Now, when you read the scriptures right here, you see that? Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto rebellious people. Who is a rebellious people? The Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. We were rebellious in the ancient world. And our people are rebellious today, right now, in this present time we're living in. Jake is rebellious. You can't tell them nothing. It says, which walketh in the way that's not good after their own thoughts. And that's why we're at the bottom today. Because Jake, they always want to do what they want to do. They don't want to do what the Lord commands them to do. They want to do what they want to do. So this is why we're oppressed at the bottom. This is why we're oppressed on a high level, Right? Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou rejected knowledge. I also rejected thee that thou be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. Remember, we were put to shame. We didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. 
right? I also will forget thy children. This was a curse that the Lord put upon us. But now when you read in the scriptures and you go to the, uh, I think it's uh, Baruch, right? The Lord gave us back our, our heritage, right? Isaiah um, 58 and 14. We, uh, the Lord gave us back our pure religion, which is our heritage, right? We're able to rehearse the righteous acts now. We're able to preach the gospel, study, pray to the Lord. The Lord gave us back our uh, uh, our religion, our pure religion, which is our heritage. He gave it back to us because it was taken from us for, for a particular time, for a long time. It was taken from us. But the Lord gave it back to us. But we're still right now in that put to shame state. We're still oppressed. Verse 7, it says, as they were increased, it says, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. So there you go. That confusion of face there is talking about shame. We were put to shame. We became cursed. Verse 8, it says, they ended up in their sin. See, they they ate up the sin of my people and they set their mind on their iniquities. So that's what caused us to fall from the Lord. That's why we're cursed today. Right? Verse 8, it says, and there, it says, and there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them their see, reward them their doings. Verse 10, it says, for they shall eat and shall not have enough. And that's our reward. We're oppressed for that. For being disobedient, that's why we're afflicted and repressed on a high level, right? It's because we became whores to the Lord. That's why our women, they, 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 they do us the way they do us. Our own women become, our own wives became whores. I'm not speaking about myself. I'm just saying in general, any brother out there that have a woman, your woman is a whore against you. Because we became whores towards Yahweh Bahashim Yashai, the Heavenly Father. So now we, these curses are on us. We we became whores to the, to the Lord. So now our own woman became whores to us. Verse 10, for they shall eat and shall not, see, have enough. They shall commit whoredom. We did commit whoredom. We started worshiping other gods. We started committing fornication in the eyes of the Lord. Fornication is idolatry. That's fornication. Right or sleeping with another man's wife—that's fornication, which is adultery. Sleeping with close relatives—that's fornication, right? Committing sodomy, right? That's all fornication. Being an L.E. Uh, alpha better—that's fornication. That's all in the eyes of fornication. Fornication is not sex before marriage. Fornication is the things that I just named. It says they shall. They says they shall commit whoredom and shall not increase, but they have left off to take heed. See, they have, it says, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. That's what we did. We went away from the Lord and we started following the way of the heathen, which goes to Psalms 106 and I believe it's 35, right? We mingled amongst the heathen and learned their works. We became like the heathen. So the Lord cast us out. We became those whores, man, whoredom. Verse 11, it says, whoredom and wine and new wine take away their mind. You see that? So we took on these different customs and the ways of the heathen. Verse 12, my people ask counsel at their stocks, you see, and their staff declare unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms have caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their power. You see that? So we went away from obeying our power. We became a rebellious house. So again, we are under the curses today due to being disobedient. We're cursed today. Yes, the Israelites are cursed. We are cursed but it's not going to be forever. It's temporal. We are oppressed and we are at the bottom due to not keeping the laws and statutes and commandments. So, yes, we are oppressed and we are cursed as a people. So the Israelites, we are cursed. But it's, these are just temporal, though. This isn't forever. So, wait, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. To the next time I say, Shalom.